Before becoming a paladin, Andrahill lived a simple life in the countryside, a broad-shouldered half-elf orphaned by war but cared for by good country folk. Famine drove goblin tribes through his adopted town. The nobility had fled early on, content to bring the town's coffers with them. All would have been lost save for the appearance of the cleansing flames, paladins united by a thirst for vengeance. The remnants of the townsfolk fled to Baldur's Gate and other nearby settlements. With no home left, Andrew Hill was taken under the band's wing. For years he learned the art of war and would take his own oath of vengeance. He was given job after job, content to exact retribution on the goblin, the demon, and the corrupt. He returned to Baldur's Gate only to see a massive ship appear. And so our story begins. And here is our custom character, Andrew Hill, a paladin of vengeance. He's going to be a violent one. His moral scruples won't be like other paladins. We've got ancients and devotion, but he's going to be more akin to Batman, Geralt, or even the Punisher. And he's not going to be evil, sure. He's going to follow his own moral code, but that could mean many things. He's got a class action called Inquisitor's Might. You or an ally's weapon attack deal an additional two radiant damage and can daze enemies for one turn. We can take him to CTE City. We've also got subclass features, just really telling you about what an Oath of Vengeance Paladin is all about. Our background is that of a soldier. If we were trained from a young age up until adulthood, then soldier would really match what we're trying to do here. We get two skills, athletics and intimidation. One based on charisma, the other based on strength. For abilities, I focused on charisma and strength. We've got a bit in constitution, dexterity as well. We're not very well read, but that's okay. We've got some standard wisdom. I could go down lower if I truly wanted to, but that's okay. We're going to keep what we have right now. I've also got a plus two in insight. Being able to read people seems like a very handy skill for someone who could be like an inquisitor. And our persuasion, again, is very good. We've also got, what, a plus four to our intimidation and so forth. These are all great skills to have. Now, we also get a cantrip. I've chosen friends because if we're able to get advantage on charisma checks, that's going to help us really just get into any situation without having to fight unless we want to fight. And I like being able to choose. So that's all about our character here. Keep in mind, I will take my time playing through the game. I'm going to talk to a lot of people and we'll try to abide by the tenets of our own character because we're here to role play. We're here to engage in a really incredible world. But let's go over here and have a look at our guardian. I like the idea that Andrew Hill can think back on a dear friend of his, one lost to time. Whether or not she was killed or just moved away, we don't know. But here's an idea of her. I thought that would be a good fit. A great and powerful warrior, and as the saying goes, thick thighs do save lives, and now we're ready to begin our story.
It's about time to wake up. A parasite in my eye. The first time I saw that, man, I did not like it at all. I'm pretty sure that's how I was actually born in a pod. Wow, we look good too. We're in good shape. And here we are. I'm going to try to use a Warhammer whenever possible. It's my preferred weapon for any Paladin whenever I play one. So I'm going to organize my bar here. My head. But before that, let's have a look at the nursery. It's pretty gross. I want to check it out. The pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Yeah, I do hate that. Why don't we investigate? Sure. My intelligence isn't high, but I'm going to do my best, all right? 11. Bringing it down to a 10 because of my minus one intelligence, but we passed anyway. We're fine. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. You know what? I'll touch it. If there's any left, I want it to be gone. All right, our first explosion. All right, let's have a look at what we have on us. We don't really have too much. I'm currently using a Warhammer. I don't want to use a shield. A two-handed weapon? That's my preferred weapon. We've got a plus five to our attack rolls to hit. And we've got over here four to 13 damage. That'll do it. Now look at that bar. That's a bit more organized. I like it. Sure, we've got many options to sort. Oh, look at that restoration. I don't want tentacle healthcare. And now we get to go through a giant sphincter. A giant gaping sphincter. What a bad day. Well, at least I don't have to touch it. Now, what's in here? Any friends? No friends at all. I'm going to pick up things whenever I can, just to let you know. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll go through an area. If I'm able to go back, then I'll go back and just pick things up. Here's a little Images record. Of goblins, their habits and oh, really? Flash and here's a tablet. Mind. I feel like tablets would sell for quite a bit, so I should take that. I mean, people might want them. But let's go towards that strange voice. Here's a neural apparatus. There that guy is. He's like, man, I came here for dental work. What's going on? Okay, brain surgery. That's a bit different. Let's have a chat. Maybe I won't. I don't think I will. That's pretty nasty. Still kicking, too. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. You know what? I don't like anything that's quivering whenever talking to me. So here's what I'm going to do. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. Well, as a paladin, I know what I need to do. Destroy the brain. Alright, we're going to make some brain jam right now. Custom made by Edrahill. And it's over. We don't know what it is. It's pretty scary, so it's got to be purged, I think. Hopefully that fellow can, I don't know, pass on in peace. He's got nothing on him. That's fine. So we just need to go back down now. There's no more loot for me to pick up that I could see. Oh boy. Last time I booked an Airbnb. And an Uber too. Oh, look who it is. Lazel. You're not going to do that. I haven't seen her do that in combat. Only here. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Ugh. me this day together we might survive yeah we might and it's called a one night stand we drank too much and here we are all a bunch of bad choices so let's see what made you think i was a thrall we carry mind flayer parasites unless we escape unless 
once we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Gaith, mind flayers. All right, I don't like that. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Okay, fine. We are turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. That's fair. Oh, imps everywhere. I get to smite a few fiends, I like that. Yeah, let's get into combat. There's demons and devils, they're not the same thing. Right now we're fighting a demon. Well, a few demons. All right, so we're ready. Here's what I'm gonna do. I've got a bonus action to use, Divine Sense. So now we'll gain advantage whenever striking these fiends. Let's go forward and take out one of them. Shouldn't have made me a very high chance to hit it. 11 damage, really good. Let's move up towards another imp. We're close by, we can't hit it right now. Let's end their turn. Then we've got Lazelle. She's gonna move up too. She should be able to take it out in one hit. Eight damage. All right, now let's move over. We'll end our turn. It's over to the imp. A fiery bolt, but a miss on Edrahill. Now Edrahill gets the strike back. Let's do it. And it's over. They're all gone. So we'll pick up a bit of loot. Well, thank you. We'll do that in just a moment. Your bar over here, it's a mess. I've got all the loot we need. Here's another imp. Yeah, I'll take that. Look, we've got to make money. It's a bunch of free equipment. Oh, we're climbing up some arterial mesh. That's really nasty. Can't wait to wash my hands. Another dead thrall. How many are here? All right, let's go up higher. We'll try to save anyone we can, and I'll kill more intellect devourers too. Oh, another sphincter. Great. Open up. Perfect. Now, what's over here? Istic, back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Well, that isn't fun. It's D and D. We've got to poke around. Fool. Oh, okay. I killed them. I didn't mean to, but they're sacrifice cultists. They were gone anyway. All right. Let's go talk to Shadowheart. You. No time for stragglers. I mean, I would like to open that lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? As a paladin, maybe. And you're a stranger too. I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Okay, sure. I'll do that in just a moment. I don't want to touch it yet. I just want to look around. Here's a reliquary. Dark mind. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it anyway. Brain in a jar. Oh, a walking brain. You are beautiful. A newborn. Gross. But you did compliment me. No, I don't have time for you. If you don't attack me, I suppose I need to move on. I was going to kill it, but maybe that's really bad timing. Here's another dead thrall. Ooh, a gold key, probably for that reliquary. Here's a woman in a mind flayer pod. How many hosts of these gay infected? A lot, I suppose. Okay, I don't want to press that button. It's a mind flayer pod, so that can't be good. Here's another chest, two potions of healing, and we've got another slave mine. Delicious. All right. Wait, a rune? Let's have a look at that real quick. A strange energy buzzes through this alien object. Well, that's got to be it then. There's really nothing else over here for me to touch. So let's get out of here. Let's go back and actually help her out. That poor woman. Can we help her? The dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay, we can't. We've got to go then. Like I said before, I'll save who I can. <laughs> I was complimented by a walking brain. I don't know how to take that. Let's come over here and touch that console. The what console a swagger. Appears dormant. Okay, there's a socket in the console, shaped like the rune you found, inserted. 
The console hums to life. Okay. I'm going to take a closer look at the powered up console. Here's my Arcana, minus one for my very low intelligence. We'll try anyway. I rolled a four. Oh, we failed. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. No kidding. Okay, I'm going to place my hand over there now. On the console, of course. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Oh, I don't like that. But I've got to open the pod for her. It's a sacrifice. Let's try it out. A DC of two. Hopefully I don't roll in that one. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, it's possible. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. And she's out. Okay, let's talk to her real quick. At last. Thought I was done for. I didn't like that choice, but I feel like a paladin would do anything to save someone. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. I sure do. So, dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. I agree. Let's get going. Also, I'm Edrahill. Shadowheart. One moment. Very strange. Was that a lament configuration? Is she going to do a Hellraiser? All right, time to go. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. Okay, we'll do that in just a moment, only because I need to really sort out everything over here for her bar too. I won't stop, can't stop. She's all fixed up and we're ready to go now. Well, I'll switch back to our main character. What about that reliquary? There we go. A bit more loot from me. There's a manuscript and a necklace. Like I said before, we need all the supplies we're able to muster. Let's go through another door, if you want to call it that. An orifice. All right, so we're inside. What do we have over here? We've got huh, more tentacle health care. Not for me. Need to watch out for that fire. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Okay, you two need to calm down. We're about to fight in a major battle together, so let's be at peace, please. One more door. Oh boy, that's one epic scene to behold. Devils and mind flayers fighting. One mind flayer getting a tasty snack. Very nutritious, I'm sure. But now... It's being killed by imps? How embarrassing. What would be cool is if we could kill everyone here. That would be awesome, I think. What if we did something wacky and tried to attack the commander? Yeah, the Mind Flayer is alive. It's a possibility. We could try it out. Okay, Lazelle's going to go after the lesser imp. She's moving in. She takes out the imp with eight damage. Let's move up now. Can't move too far. We'll end her turn. Edra Hill's going to go after the lesser hell's boar. A decently high chance to hit. 13 damage. The hell's boar is gone. That's great for us. Let's move up. Okay, the mind player attacks again. 20 damage and a stun. That's really good. So we could use a guiding bolt from Shadowheart. Let's try that out. It's a crazy idea, but let's do it. She's moving up. Oh no, a miss. 
That would have been amazing. Okay, we're gonna patch up the Mind Flare. I'm kidding, we're not gonna do that. We'll end our turn. That really sucks. I thought we had it. Okay, Alistair Imp tried to shoot Edrahill, but failed. Yeah, he was only stunned for one turn. If we could get like higher ground or something, that would be fun, but I don't believe it's possible. Let's move up real quick. We could use a rush attack, but instead, let's get rid of that Imp. Okay, Lazel shoots her bow for damage on the Imp. We'll end her turn. Edrahill, you're gonna have to charge, I suppose. Yeah, you're gonna have to dash. You're not really gonna make it very far with what you're doing right now, so we're gonna have him dash. He's gonna move right by the commander. Have to keep going. There. Okay. That should hopefully help out for later. The Mind Flayer, well, he's telling us what to do, and I don't like that. He missed an attack. We can't really afford any misses at all, so I don't like that. Another Guiding Bolt if I want, but no. We'll use a Fire Bolt on that Imp. Very high chance to hit. It has only 2 HP, and now it's gone. Okay, that's good. I really don't want to patch up that Mind Flayer. Maybe if I throw a potion at it. Oh, it was hit again. All right, so what do we do then? We could just try to move in and smack him around. We've got a rush attack. We could knock him off balance. Off balance meaning what? Disadvantage on strength and dexterity checks. Oh yeah, that would be great actually if it worked out. Will it work out? Probably not, but let's go anyway. A miss. Here's a pommel strike. Let's daze him. We got a daze. Okay. Hopefully he's going to deal Let's with go. a wisdom check. All right. Divine sense would be great to use. A higher chance to hit him. So we've got that now. If I can knock him prone, that would be great. But it's not going to happen. We'll try anyway. We've got advantage. We missed again. All right. Back to the mind player using a tentacle lash. 13 damage. We're going to move as close as we're able to without causing too many problems. I wonder how high I need to be for a nice advantage. 50% chance. Let's try it anyway. Another miss. What bad luck. Okay. He missed the Mind Flayer. That's fine and good. Let's keep on attacking. I know what we need to do. Okay, he's at 112 health. We'll keep on attacking. A 9. A critical hit. 103 health. We'll end our turn again. The Mind Flayer goes forward. 41 damage on the commander. 82 HP left. A Secret Flame. Now, he would have to pass a deck save. So maybe we could try that out. Let's go. Seven damage. That's really good. We'll end our turn again. We've got 11 turns left. Mind Flayer is hit for only 10. That's also really good. All right. We'll attack. We'll keep on attacking. Four damage. Back over to us. We've got Inquisitor's Might. I probably should have used that before. But here's some more radiant damage if we hit. We'll try it out. All right. Six damage. A daze again. Come on, Mind Flayer. 15 damage. We are getting closer now. All right, so Sacred Flame again. Pretty good ability, I think. Unfortunately, he made a save. Ooh, quite a bit of damage on a Mind Flayer, but the Mind Flayer is alive. A critical hit, seven damage. Oh my God, could we do it? I keep on attacking. A miss. The Mind Flayer attacks, 20 damage. We're so close. Okay, 23 HP. The Mind Flayer has only 32. Six damage on Commander Zalk or Zalk. The Campions are here to help out the Commander, dashing forward. They'll probably be here in like, what, two more turns? Ooh, the Mind Flayer takes 11 damage. Here comes another Cambion. They're dashing. We've got nine turns left. All right. Come on, Commander. A miss again. Still breathing. All right. Let's go. Five damage. The Mind Flayer attacks. Missing. Oh no, we can't afford that right now. All right. What about a Sacred Flame? Try again, 12 HP. Okay. We've got to move a little bit closer, I think, because we're going to have to bounce like incredibly fast. All right, the Cambians, they're dashing. The Mind Flayer's alive for now. It hit the Mind Flayer again, who's going to die in like one more hit. I've never been so close to killing the commander. You are kidding me. Let's go. Attack, a miss. Edrahill, you tried to. A critical hit, six damage. We are nearly there. Six damage, everyone. Oh man, no joke. Okay. Mind player, you did it. 
Okay. The commander is dead. We've got a new blade. The Everburn Blade. 4 to 17 damage. 2d6 plus 1 slashing damage. 1d4 fire damage. You know who that's for. It's not for us. We're going to give it away. Well, we can't just yet. Let's just pick it up for right now. We've got to pick it all up. Now, that Mind Flayer is in really, really bad shape. We could try to kill him too. That would be funny, I think. Or we could try to leave him. We've got a few options. Yeah, I think we should probably try to leave. It's about time. Let's go. Hurry before they strike. No kidding. All right, let's have a look. The Mind Flayer. Yeah, that's our only job for right now. Having a look at our battlefield. We've got two imps. We've got one hell's boar. That's fine. Let's move up. I'm going to use a fire bolt. Did I say fiery bolt before? I believe I did. Oh well. I'm learning. Nine damage on one imp. We got that one. Okay. The Cambians are moving in. They're flying towards the Mind Flayer. Not us. Not yet. Five damage only. Good. The other one is flying close to. Oof. Lazelle took seven damage. Yeah. No kidding. Okay. So we're going to have to disengage or we're done for here. Disengage. Just run for right now. Just get out of here. We're going to use for her a second wind. Her ability to just replenish health. Plus 10. Perfect. She's in perfect health. All right. Now, our turn to move away. We're going to have to probably make a mad dash, I think. Yeah, let's do that. We'll make a mad dash. Maybe we're not too close. I hope not. Okay, good. We're not. Ooh, amethyst. Bad timing, I know, but I'm moving forward. Yeah, we don't want to take a long way over there. We're very close to where we need to be. We just need to attack and move. Keep on moving. There we go. In turn. The Mind Flayer misses. Okay, Shadowheart. You're not where you need to be. That's okay. Firebolt again. Let's hit that other imp. I wonder if we just need to touch it once and if we'll be okay after that. The Hell's Boar is going to move forward. A Tusk attack. Missing Edrahill. The Mind Flayer is finally dead, unfortunately. The other Campion is moving ahead after Lazelle. And here's another one flying forward after Lazelle. Hitting her for 8 damage, which is a lot. So we're going to have to disengage again. Let's keep on doing that. She's just having to move forward. Okay. We'll have her use a Potion of Healing. She's back at full health. And let's see. We're going to have to, I suppose, just move again. I wonder if we could disengage and make it Worth a shot. we could try did we do it the helm's alien transponder you made it in time well that's really bad news Oh, come on. Bad timing, dragon. Shadowheart's okay. It should be us, but we were busy just trying to survive. It's about her for right now. All right, there goes a the ship. But really, that was so worth it, too. I mean, we were able to take down the commander. So now, Lazelle's going to have a great sword. I could use it myself. I might have to. I'll think about it. I just like using hammers so much as a paladin. It's just really all I like using. Even back in the day whenever I played one. I mean, many years ago, like back in 2004. <laughs> all right, Shadowheart, you've got it. Now we're back home. Well, largely back home. That's pretty startling. You're doing some sky watching, some stargazing, then that happens. These two don't look impressed. They're like, eh. Another day. She's pretty happy. I do love goblins a lot. I use them in pretty much every tabletop setting I have, or world I have. They're just so much fun to use. You can change them up, reflavor them in any way that you want. I mean, that's true of anything really, but that's my fun. Okay, Edra Hill, it's time. We're holding on. I don't like you. Well, that was good news. Now we're free falling. 
But look at that. Plot armor. It's gonna kick in sometime. That was my one, my free one. I feel like I always wash up on the beach. But we are awake and alive. What a great way to do things. You know what? I might have to use a fiery sword. That would be suitable. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Wait, it's got enough room to squirm? How empty is my head? Okay, I'm gonna check myself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. That is very, very true. So, let's have a look. We're here. Our friends are gone. We'll have to find them, too. There's going to be a lot that I need to pick up, and I'm going to pick up everything if I can. No inspiration yet. We've got Soldier for Lizel and Edrahil. Acolyte for Shadowheart. Unfortunately, Shadowheart has my blade. We'll need to find her. Let's level up anyway. We're here. We might as well do it. All right. Level two. Level one is pretty swingy, but we did pull it off. We've got Divine Smite. 2d8 radiant damage. Oh, I like that. 1 to 8 more radiant damage against fiends and undead. If only I had that before. We've also got a level 1 spell slot. Well, two of them. And I've also got access to many new spells. I'll think about what I want to use. For a fighting style, let's pick up defense. Plus 1 bonus to armor class. I mean, I will be using a two-handed weapon. I could prepare any number of spells over here, but what do I truly need? Blast is really good. I would also like to smite a few enemies. Yeah. Let's have a look. We've got Searing Smite. Some fire damage. We've got over here Protection from Good and Evil. Or Evil and Good, rather. We're going to pick up Cure Wounds for right now. Command could be interesting. And what else? Heroism. Make yourself or a target immune to frightened and gain 5 temporary hit points each turn. For 10 turns. I like that. Another concentration spell. We've got Divine Favor for three turns if I want to use that, but I like what I have, and we'll be able to change it up later. There's Shadowheart. I can get my blade now. I mean, save her too. Hi there. There it is. She wants to do a Hellraiser. I knew it. Okay, I'm going to wake her. I don't want her artifact. Guess we're going to have Calamari later. Well, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Yeah, that's fair. Now what? First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. No kidding. All right. We, you want to stay together. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Yeah, that's fair. Let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Yeah, you are very welcome. Now, about what you have. There it is. 4 to 17 damage. I know how much I like using a Warhammer, but come on, it's too good. It's going to change up too much, I think. Oh, that's so cool. You're kidding me. I could give it to Lazel later if I want to be thematic, but I've got to use it for right now. We've also got a bit more armor, so it'll be quite survivable in combat. All right, let's have a look at Shadowheart. She's level 2. She's going to have so much to look at. A level 2 Cleric. I might change her domain to life or something. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. 10 to 17 health. Really good. Prepare spells. Well, you've got pretty much what I want you to have. Shield of Faith is okay. Surprisingly, I just want Bless. I'll use it a lot. Healing Word should be sufficient for healing. Yeah, that's all that we really need. After that, 
we could just pick up create or destroy water. That could come in handy, it's true. All right, we're done. Level two. Now that I've got my cool blade, let's get a move on. Imagine a level two paladin having a blade like that. Oh, here's a pouch. Yeah, I'll always come back and pick up a lot of loot. I just don't want to spend half of my time just picking up a bunch of miscellaneous items. We just got a floppy hat, didn't we? Nope, I only believe in using a hard hat. No floppies here. Another dead fisher, five gold, an intellect devourer. So these creatures are all around. Let's keep on moving. We could move down this way. Oh, there's a bunch of bodies and a door, but it's locked. So we're going to ignore it. Instead, we'll just keep on traveling. There's a waypoint, one ancient sigil circle. Whoa, intellect devourers. They're moving away, so we're going to have to fight them anyway. Let's go do that. It shouldn't be too difficult, I think. There's only two of us, so we are outnumbered. There's three of them. One is dashing towards us. That makes my life a little easier. Here comes another one now. Also dashing. Oh, it's moving all right. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. No kidding. I've got a very high chance to hit that devourer. 10 damage, not bad. Then I'm going to use a pommel strike. It's only got two HP for health. One little point of damage. That's it, but that's okay. It's been dazed. All right. Or rather knocked out even better. All right. Our third intellect devourer is advancing towards us. Yeah, we'll take out the other one later on. I could use a ranged attack. Let's do that. So Shadow Heart had a critical miss. Unfortunately, that isn't great, but it happens. We'll move up just a little bit. We'll end our turn. Okay. Another dash from that second intellect devourer. Now we're going to have our friend move up. Edger Hill's going to move right over here and take out hopefully one of them. Yep, one dead. Very good. All right, so we'll move a little bit closer towards our final intellect devourer. All right, now you've got to do something. We could try to daze our enemy, but instead we're just going to use a standard attack. Six damage, not dead, but getting closer. We could shove it away. Let's try it out. There it goes. It's been shoved back by Shadowheart. Now her turn is over. Here comes our enemy, moving back in. Trying to attack Shadowheart, but it missed. Let's take it out. Three damage. Perhaps our survival is in such a distant prospect. Let's kill the knocked out one. Also gone. All right. So we just need to take some time here to loot. Oh, alchemical ingredient. I like that. Yeah, we'll keep on moving. There's another Nautiloid tank and a very obvious thing to loot, a chest. Simple toxin. Not really for me, but we could give it to a rogue or Lazelle. A potion of speed. Now that is really good. That could really help me out. I'm not going to look at every item in detail until we need to use it. Then we'll be able to go over its effects. Let's keep on moving. A nobleman. Red peppers. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, another dead Mind Flayer, thankfully dead. A Caustic Bulb, 1d4 acid damage, and another Potion of Healing. That's why I'm going to scour every square inch. It shouldn't be too difficult, I think, but we'll keep on advancing for now. Once we have a good town to go to, I'll come back, pick it all up. It should still be around, I would imagine. All right, we've not found anything yet. Is there anything over here? An interesting area, but nothing to worry about. Oh. There's Asterion. We've got someone to meet. Let's go say hello. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? You know what? Our character really has no reason to distrust him. Easily. Stand back. I'll go take care of it. I'm a paladin, after all. There. Can you see it? You know what? I think I can. Yep, there it goes. We're in trouble now. Shh. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you. Keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade, or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. 
Yeah, I believe you. I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Not. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna headbutt him. A good old fashioned greeting here. All right, add a bonus. A bless from Shadowheart. Well, I've got to use it, I think. I don't want to fail. We've got a DC of 14. Let's go now. Come on. A nat 20. Let's go. No, not a nat 20, but we have a total of 20. I wish it was a nat 20. You son of a... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Yeah, about that. It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> no apologies. You know, should we travel with someone who looks like a vampire? He dresses like one, talks like one, and has fangs too. All right, well, forget it. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself too. I'm also a Baldurian. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Not really, but all I do know about it is that, that we'll be turned into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Yeah, there could be. All right, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. So now we have a new friend, but we do need to find Lazel, and he's got to level up. Mysterian did level up. So, there we go. Rogue level 2. More health and a few new actions. We've got hide, dash, and disengage. All bonus actions. That's really good. We need that. I'll probably turn him into some manner of assassin. We're not going to multi-class yet. Maybe eventually. I could multi-class our main character. I'll think about it. So we could go that way, or we could just keep on traveling around. We've got a mind flare, it looks like. I can see it right over there. We might as well go say hello. Oh, I could kill it from afar if I wanted to. Oh, I would like to kill it. Oh, really? Are you sure? Death is too good for it. No kidding. A potion of speed. I'll take it. And a spiked bulb. All right. No more mind flare to worry about. I mean, why talk to it? It could potentially control me. So that seems like a really bad idea. Once we find Lazel. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got there goblins here. Over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Yeah, no kidding. Three dead goblins. Ooh, a supply pack. Not bad. That's where we get to really make some money. Now. What's over here? What's going on with that room? It looks somehow. No kidding, let's touch it. For fun. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. It's D&D &D after all. You know what? Why not? I'll use my strength. I'm going to grab the hand and pull. Alright, here's my roll. 
I've got to give Guidance back over. Oh, no, no, she does have it. Good. Yeah, use it there. Let's roll. It's a low DC. We made it. A critical success. There's a nat 20. I've got you. Don't worry. That's it. Go on. Keep pulling. We return to phrase. And he comes out of the hole. There we go. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Okay, I believe you. Are you okay? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. I mean, was everyone on it? I believe so. I was, sure. Then I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region yeah go on the insertee we speak of this parasite are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers it's a process known as ceramorphosis and let me assure you it is to be avoided you don't okay. happen to be a cleric by any chance do you a doctor surgeon Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. Yeah, I wish. But I'm you not. seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Unfortunately, no, I'm not. But I am a paladin. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? You know what? Sure. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. You're not wrong about that. So now we have another friend. A, long way from water. a soon to be level two wizard. I've not used a wizard in quite some time. It was my first class I ever played in D&D. I played a deep gnome wizard. It was quite a bit of fun too. I went back to check for loot. I didn't really miss too much. I did find a helmet. I gave it over to Shadowheart, but I'm currently hiding it. It's a leather helmet. Okay, you're level two. You've got one more level one spell slot. You're one evocation savant. Learning evocation spells from scrolls costs half as much. Okay. You've got sculpt spells too. Create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws. Oh, I like that. And you gained two spells. What they might be, that's going to be a, a really tough one, I think. I do like the idea of Tasha's hideous laughter. Yeah, that would be nice to have. I would like to stop my enemies. And magic missile can always be clutch. Yeah, we'll take that. 3d4 plus 3 force damage. It's really good. And for hideous laughter, leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up for 10 turns. The creature must have an intelligence of 5 or more. Oh, but each time it takes damage, it could try to shake off the effects. It's a concentration spell. And it requires a wisdom save. It's a really good one in my view for crowd control. So we've got all that we need. Very good. I've got his bar all neat and organized. Let's get a move on again. We'll just keep on traveling around until we find Lazel. That's all that we can do right now. I'm sure there's many events I've not yet encountered. All right. So we're right by some ruins. A chapel entrance, really? But who's in here? Oh, bandits. Okay. We could go have a conversation, but I'm a paladin of vengeance. You know what I need to do. I can't permit a bandit to live. Let's go say hi. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. 
That's our ship. Okay, buddy. You're really making a bad decision. See, if I go loot that tomb, I would be the same as they are. So maybe I shouldn't kill them just because they're here. I don't really know too much more about them. I'm going to use my Paladin and Intimidation option. Selfish cur. There might be survivors, yet you think only of loot. Leave before I make you leave. All right, I'll add my bonus here. Guidance and friends. Look at that. I've got advantage. Let's roll. 22. I'll take it. We passed. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese. No? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Man, really bossy. Oh, okay. Four of them. That's a lot. We had a fight on our hands. We did not. There would have been many ways to handle it. Oh, here's a dragon egg mushroom. We could go in that ruin right now. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. And then we'll come back and pick up whatever we need. Oh, twisting vines. See, we need to be careful. Oh, there's a ladder. I was worried that we were going to jump off. That really did worry me. And here's a door. If it's locked, a Styrian could open it easily, I think. Yeah, we'll come over here. He's very talented. Come on. All right, we'll give you guidance. Roll again. We easily did it. Okay, now we're going to be able to head in, but we did use up our tools. We'll need more. Knock, knock, we're home now. Okay, I gave a Styrian a short sword. That should do it. He's not hidden right now, so we can't use a sneak attack, though that would be great. Go on, attack. A miss and a hit for one damage. Not a great start, buddy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, a cleave would be a lot of fun, but we've got to save it. So we'll use a main hand attack. He's got 17 HP left. We just dealt, wow, quite a bit of damage too. 11 points. Okay, in turn again. He's been surprised, so he's unable to act. Now, Gel, our new friend, is going to use a firebolt. There we go, six points of damage. Ooh, what a horrible way to go. All right, so you've got a torch. I'm gonna give that torch over to Gel, so I want him to loot. There, we've also got a short sword, leather armor, a bandit's key. All right, I like that. We'll find a good use for it later on. Now, about that torch. Well, hold on, I want you to keep what you have, and you already had one, very good. I was a little bit worried about that. All right, use your torch. Who are those prayers for? Normally, the patron god is obvious. Not here. Yeah, not here at all. We've got some candles. Here's a plaque. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Yeah, no kidding. Here's a supply pack. And there's going to be so much food I'll be able to pick up. I mean, we need supplies. The dead can't make use of it. Let's have a look at our journal entry. Explore the ruins. Okay, that's all I need to do. We could sneak and play a quiet game. We've got a Starian. That might be the wise idea. It might not be how we like to handle situations, but that could help out. Let's no longer group up. Here's a lever. We might as well use a rogue for rogue things. Let's come over here and use a sneak attack. Oh wait, hold on. We need to get inside. Now, try it out. Get behind her. Hopefully she won't turn around. Oh, she did. But we managed to hide. Come on. Ugh. Didn't quite get her. I was hoping too. We were so close. I could have used a ranged attack, but I chose not to. Could we hide? We can. Now, let's hit her. We've got advantage. Nine damage. Not bad. She's not dead yet, though. Here's what we're going to do then. I'm going to have Gel move inside. I mean... He's hidden. It's going to be okay. We'll use a fireball. Four points of damage. We're not yet done. Here comes Shadowheart. We're going to have her use, I suppose, her crossbow. I gave her a crossbow to use. So, advantage again. Our enemy is dead. Another dead foe. That was a very, very clean fight, too. All right, let's move around. Everyone group up again. She's got poison. Oh, another dagger. Very good. Asterion. Touch me. I'm going to give you that dagger. All right, so you've got it. You've got all of your daggers now. I like that. Here's a book of final breath. You know what? I'm going to pick it up. Sure. 
Oh, no, I had meant to right click it. There we go. Better stop to rest soon. Do we really need to rest? I mean, maybe soon. We could do it now. I'm choosing not to. Ooh, oil barrels. Those could be handy. I could throw them. That would be nice. Let's move over here real quick. Here's a chest. We've got nothing really of note. Here's a mirror. Huh. He's not able to use it. He's a vampire. What a good test. I mean, he kind of gave it away there. Whoa. Things are falling apart. I hear some people too. We could try to open that door, but let's take our time. I mean, I should probably look around and get ready. There could potentially be more loot. Ooh, like over here, thieves tools. They gave me some. We're getting everyone to hide. Now, I really did go back to loot everything. Even Cheese gave a floppy head over to Gel. Now he's stylish. Okay, Asterion, you'll move in. Open the door. We could enter turn base mode. That could help out a lot. Let's move over here. I would like to get rid of their spellcaster or someone. Oh, they've got a barbarian, so four total. Enter turn base mode. It's going to make my life a lot easier. Yeah, move up a little bit. Shadowheart, you too. I could have moved another character first, but it's going to be okay. Then finally, we'll move up Gal. Gal doesn't need to be too close, but we're going up. I could use Magic Missile. That would be a fun one. But Asterion, why don't you use a sneak attack? It's a ranged one. Let's get rid of Barton. He's right there in front of us. 12 damage. That's a lot. Then we'll strike again. Another ranged attack. Try it out. No poison yet. 5 damage. Barton is dead. Oh, Barton. You are gone. So let's move over behind a pillar. Then we'll use our cunning action to hide. Try it out at least. All right. So far, maybe good. You're done now. What about Gel? Gel, you could probably go after their spellcaster. That would be fun. A magic duel. We'll use magic missile. Oh, you're not in range. What about that barbarian? Yeah, we'll go after that barbarian. Take all three. Enjoy. Oh, that was really cool. Like bending bullets. Okay, so Gail hit that barbarian. It's not dead yet. That's now nice. we've got Shadowheart. I really do want to kill them. Let's move up. We've got a guiding bolt. Let's hit Sefri. She's going now. 15 damage. Sefri is dead. Right away, just dead. Nothing else happened. They only died. All right, let's move over here. We'll try to go after... See, that Dwaygar, I believe, if I've got that right, we were able to hide. All right, I am a paladin, but I'm a paladin of vengeance, so take a blade. Look at that, 14 damage. Okay, time to end a few turns, I think. I'm no longer hidden. We'll end that turn, too. All right, only because we don't really need to worry. We're going to be okay. Yeah, we're going to be fine. I could also hide again. Now... Edrahill, attack. Two HP left, and dead. There's only one enemy. We don't have to kill them all, but we're choosing to. Yeah, see, he's going to see me regardless, so we might as well just move up there to attack him. Let's try it out. A miss, but three damage with an offhand weapon. Now, Shadowheart, you're going up. Firebolt. Ooh, what about a ranged attack? That has a little bit more of a chance to hit. Six damage, that's really good. All right, in turn, in turn, and over to Gel. All right, Gel, a firebolt. Much of a chance to hit. We could use one more magic missile, especially if we want to rest up. For fun, let's do it. And it's over. We killed them all. That was pretty good, I think. All right, everyone group back up. I'm going to loot everything again. Of course, I could get rid of a... Barrel, that would make my life a little easier, I think. So I might do that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I going to throw it? Let's not do that. No, that would be a danger to all of us. I'll drop it for now, okay? Maybe keep my sword away from it. Let's go loot every dead body. We've got a scroll of burning hands, a quarterstaff, a robe, a different book. We've got some chapel records. And yeah, no one's going to learn a new spell yet. Here we go. Oh yeah, just some records that I'll be able to sell. <laughs> I'm learning. All right, here's a looter's trunk. We found what? A lever. Let's pull it. It's got to be good. Very stylish. All right, gold, some candles. Wow, so handy. What else do we have around here? It's got to be something good, I hope. 
I'll take every single book if you've got them. Oh yeah, a few over here. Look at that. 14 gold. 14 gold. And let's see. She had a few garbage items, but they're free. I mean, they're free now. What's over here? The unclaimed. I'll pick it up. I'm not going to read it. I would like to one day just read the books for fun. I think that would be a lot of fun. All right. Let's see. More basic poison and alchemist fire. I might give that to Shadowheart. She's good for that role. All right. What about that barbarian? Let's say hello. Leather boots, leather gloves, javelins, and a great club. How powerful, I suppose. That guy believed in his own strength. All right. We'll come back later to pick up more books, but we're able to move in over here now. Seems a bit dangerous, but we should just go in. Is there another door? There's not. Not here that I know of. I'm good at Dink Crypt. My halfling, Ma Barley, would love that. This place wasn't built for the living. Yeah, no kidding. Some heavy oak doors. If you've got a crypt, you've got traps. We probably need to be careful. All right. That means, Asterion, you've got a job to do. Sure, have fun. How delicious. I know. So... Let's try to hit that sarcophagus. Traps. Yep. How considerate. We don't have a trap disarm kit, so we can't do too much about that. Oof. How considerate. Let's go try to open it up. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. We should be able to do that, right? Yeah, just open it. Oh, that can't be good. Okay, so we've got a spear, the Watcher's Guide, and one key. Very good. So here's what we're going to do now. We're just going to get out. There's some grease from that one trap, so we just need to avoid that grease, or we could fall down. Then we die. Then we die. All right, we'll use a cunning action, dash, and we are free. We are very, very free. Let's get out of our turn base mode. That feels really good. We were very, very quick, and we need to get away right away. Yeah, all of you. Oof. Maybe later we'll go in and explore a little bit more but not right now so what about that spear that could be good for Shadowheart she's able to use that I believe let's try it out yeah that could work out all right so it's got Death's Promise when the spear misses its target the wielder's next attack roll against that target gains true strike nice okay advantage on attack rolls against this creature you also get rush attack Huh, not bad at all. So we've got a 1d6 plus 1. It's a magical item. I was hoping to wait for the traps to stop, but they didn't. Too bad. It's okay. Use an engraved key. Thank you, Asterion. Now, these are undead, sure, but they look to be pretty fresh. But no sign of a struggle. No, not really. All right. Look at that. What's over here? Jurgle, the scribe of the dead. This chapel must be ancient. It's got to be. Let's have a look around. Oh, come on. There's a battle coming. I'm a paladin. They're undead. Oh, here's a heavy key. That's nice to have. Let's light a few more yeah, sources over here. Here's another gilded chest. I'll pick that up too. Ooh, a polished ring. Who knows what I'll be able to buy. Yeah, there's going to be a few traders, so got to get my money up. Okay, let's check out what's in this room. Not too much. Not yet. Oh, Book of Dead Gods. That's pretty dramatic. We'll check out that Looks chest like and sarcophagus. Another ring. Oof, so many rings and a soul coin. Strange and comprehensible whispers emanate from this coin. I can use it to power infernal engines. Well, okay. I wonder what it's worth. No idea. I'll hold on to it, though. Let's have a look at that book real quick. Or I could have Gal do so. Maybe that's a better idea. I think so. As you wish. Yeah, sure. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. All right. I'm going to use his wizard intelligence. Knock the lock open with a spell. Let's try that. Add a bonus to guidance. It's only a DC of 10. We got a 14. Time to open up. Perfect. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. Well, that's really what good. Was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. 
You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Maybe of dead gods. Okay. Now we'll use religion to examine the book more closely. We'll try again. Another bonus. Oh, we've made it. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. That's pretty dramatic. So Gail is inspired. To new horizon. That was a good call, I think. We could try to read it. He's got an inspiration point. Yeah, we'll pick it up. And Shadowheart is also inspired. I was hoping to do more with it. I'll just pick it up. It's more experience. Yeah, we've gained a lot because of it. It also gave me a scroll. Well, we only prosper today. We're not too far from level three. That's really good. All right, let's get out of here now. Find a way forward. Oh no, we're gonna be fine, trust me. I've also got my smites out. I was saving them. I mean, look, I have to save them for a good, decent fight. I wonder if I could carry all the scribes over here. That would be interesting. Could I pick them up? Hells. Oh, nope, that was a bad idea. See, I was also thinking about trying to throw it into the fire. I doubt that would work, but that's life. All right. Asterion, go attack. Do it now. All right, one scribe. I suppose destroyed. All right, now over to Shadowheart. Shadowheart, you've got to take out one. At least one. Come over here. A guiding bolt. That'll do it. 15 damage. It's gone for sure. In turn, back over to Hill. I would like to go after the undead, but I know I couldn't make it. Not yet. The other undead, no, I couldn't hit that one either. So I'm going to have to dash down, I think, or use one enchantment spell. I've got a few slots. Yeah, let's do that. I could use a few temporary hit points. Very nice. All right, we've got five. Let's move a bit further away. Hopefully they'll go after him. All right, their turn now. That one warrior is dashing. Don't you touch Gal. Okay, Scribe is moving up, using a Ray of Frost on Edgerhill, but it missed. Back over to our turn. All right, so what are we going to do then? It's pretty simple. Step We're going to go after that Scribe using, what is it? Magic Missile. Oh, you know what I'm going to use. An easy way to get pretty much a guaranteed kill. It'll never miss. All right, your turn is over. Asterion, back to you. Oh, okay. I was hoping that we were hiding. No, I knew that we weren't. It's all right. Only three damage. All right, end your turn. And we'll come over here. I could use a Sacred Flame. Yeah, let's do that. That warrior's pretty beefy, but it made it save. All right, Edrahill, I'm going to have you use a Divine Smite. Yeah, let's do that. Oof, hold on. We'll use Divine Sense. I'll gain advantage whenever trying to strike at some undead. That's a better call. Then we'll use Divine Smite. 80% chance to hit. We took him out in one hit. That was a lot of damage. All right, let's move again. That scribe is moving up. Using silence, but I don't really care. Yeah, we're fine. All right, Gal, attack. Like he's some type of automaton. Five damage. All right, so Gal did a good job. Asterion, well actually, we'll just get Edrahill to go take care of things, all right? Simple. Gone. All gone. All right, there's loot for me to pick up, so I'll pick it up. Probably pretty far. It's been so much fun to have our blade. I had no idea that we could do that. I didn't know if it was possible, but now I do, and hopefully some of you now know as well. All right, so we'll just take what's here. We'll come back. I just want to make my money. I know I keep saying that I'll come back, but I end up picking up so much anyway. Let's have a look around real quick. Yeah, look at that. Old tapestries, all of that. I mean, come on, a very obvious button. There. Now, what's in here? No kidding. Well, we'll go into the chest. The Amulet of Lost Voices, so we could talk to the dead. I'll give that to Gel. We could do it, because I feel like we would use any tool to do so, but I'll let Gel do it. He's a very suitable character. Oh, wrong slot. There we go. Now you've got it. 
it's a very suitable character for so many different things that maybe our character wouldn't do or would have a harder time doing it. All right, let's have a look at that plaque. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Atonement? I'll touch it for the whole group. Terrifying, but not hostile. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Good question. I'll respond as a paladin. What manner of undead are you to ask such a question? I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Why not? Ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? That's a really good question. I thought I would have... Ah, here we go. That depends on the virtue of the life that is lived. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. It's a strange creature, but we allowed it to go. It didn't attack us. It also appeared to be very powerful. Who knows what would have happened? So there it is. is my feet can carry me. Yeah, it has a greater purpose than traditional undead. Oh, how long has it been? Could that be Jurgle? I have no idea. Nor do I want to be told. I just want to find out one day. How long has it been? Interesting. Yeah, see, I've got to investigate. There's always more to it, right? All right. Here's a way out. An easy way out, I hope. We're going into the water. Do we go left or do we go right? I suppose we go right. It's too bright over there. I don't like it. Oh, he's still chatting. I actually want to know more. Hmm. Okay. What's over here? A lever. Nice. We have found our way out. Let's get out of here. Let's get a move on now. So we're right by the chapel again. Here's some knotted roots. We still need to find Lazel. Well, we'll do that. Survival failed. Interesting. Something over there. Oh, a dirt mound. We could dig in it, but I have no shovel. I'll have to sort through my loot later and also find a shovel. That shouldn't be too challenging. How close are we now? Cautious. Probably pretty Come close. I keep pressing C for character. <laughs> it feels obvious. All right. 97 experience to go. Let's go over here to the right. Ooh, a smashed cage. Broken. Must have been here a while. Yeah, probably so. All right. We've got two tieflings. And Lazelle, we found her. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad. Twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. No, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to respond as a paladin. We'll try to do that whenever possible. And we're also using a bit of deception. Your quarry looks dangerous, but I've handled worse. Leave it to me, get to safety. All right, time to roll. Friends and guidance. We got advantage. All right, we did it again. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Yeah, no kidding. A blast. I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. 
All right. Now for persuasion. I'm in need of healing. Where is this camp? Oh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Only a DC of five. Yeah, unless we got a nat one, we were going to pass. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's get Asterion to get you down. Yeah, we'll move up a little bit closer. Observe. Then we'll Listen. talk to her. All right. Down. Could I sneak attack it? No, I can't. I just want to sneak attack, okay? A weakened base. Easy to get her down. One more attack. And we've got it. Let's go talk to her. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. That's true, but what is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusta for purification. Okay. We journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Wait at my camp. We can speak there. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. If we have a look at the map, we're not too far from our target. It shouldn't take too long to get over there. And you know what? I shouldn't do a long rest. I should do a short rest. We've got time. But we're also going to call it here for right now. We've done so much and we've gotten so far. Let me know what characters you want to see in our party in the future. And of course, if you have any tips or recommendations for me, I'll be sure to check them out. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a like and comment right down below if you want to see more. And click that little bell so you're able to get notifications. But Edgerhill shall return. Till then.